Hello, and welcome to 7 Facts. If you love geography and history, subscribe right now, I promise it'll be worth it. The Karachai Cherkes Republic is a federal subject of Russia, a republic located in the North Caucasus region. It is one of Russia's ethnic republics, meaning it was created to primarily represent the indigenous ethnic groups, specifically the Karachai and the Cherkes, or Circassian people. Together, they form a little over 50% of the population, however, Russian ethnics also have a major presence here, around 31%. This is a small republic of less than 500,000 people. It shares a border with Georgia, and it also shares Mount Elbrus, the highest peak in Europe, with neighboring kabardino balkaria But is this all? Is there nothing else to talk about this republic? Sure there is. So let's discover some more things about Karachai Cherkessia. Karachai Cherkessia came under Russian control after a peace treaty with the Ottoman Empire, who ceded this land in 1828. But about a century later, in Soviet times, this region saw many administrative modifications. The divide and rule tactics of the Soviet era involved weakening resistance by splitting related groups and joining unrelated ones in shared administrative units. As part of this pattern, the territory was integrated into the Kuban Soviet Republic in 1918. Two months later, it became part of the North Caucasian Soviet Republic. Six months later, it was controlled by the White Guard, who fought the Soviets. In 1921, it passed to the mountainous Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. Eventually, the Karachai Cherkessia Autonomous Region was created in 1922 but only to be split in two, four years later. That's a lot of changes in a very short amount of time, and this pattern continued in the decades to come. One of the bleakest periods in the history of these people was during and after World War II. In 1943, the Karachai Autonomous Oblast was abolished, because the Karachai people were accused of collaboration with the Nazis. This was all just a pretext, based on false evidence, but nevertheless, the entire Karachai nation was deported to the Kazakh and Uzbek republics. The remaining territory populated by the Cherkessians was known as Cherkes Autonomous Oblast. Needless to say, countless thousands died in this period and it wasn't until 1957 that the remaining Karachai were allowed to return home. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored and none of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. And with that said, let's go to fact number 4. The capital city of this small republic is Cherkesk. What is now Cherkesk was established in 1804 as a Russian military fort on the Kuban River, what was then the border with Circassia, on the spot where in 1790 Russian troops defeated the Ottomans. The settlement itself was founded as the Kozak Stanitsa or village of Batal Pashinskaya near the Russian army outpost. In 1922 the village became the seat of the Karachai Cherkes Autonomous Oblast and took over the role of the main urban center of the region. Today, Cherkesk is an ethnically diverse place, home to Russians, Circassians, Karachais, Abaza and Nogais, Ukrainians, Armenians and even Pontic Greeks. The scenery in Karachai Cherkessia is spectacular, with the densely forested mountains rising through alpine meadows. And they're not screwing around, mountains cover 80% of the Republic's territory. Possibly the best place to visit in Karachai Cherkessia is the Dombai Resort. Located at an altitude of about 1600 meters, Dombai is one of the most seeked out resorts in European Russia. Ever since the 1920s, this resort has accommodated thousands of tourists, including the old aristocrats and members of the Soviet elite. Dombai kept its high status and popularity thanks in part to the spectacular mountains that surround it from all sides. So if you ever wanted to visit Karachai Cherkessia, now you know where to start. The largest telescope in the world used to be in Karachai Cherkessia up until the year 1990. The BTA-6, or Bolshoi Telescope Alt Azimutalny, is a 6-meter aperture optical telescope located some 2100 meters above sea level. 
The BTA-6 achieved first light in late 1975, and for the next 15 years it was the largest telescope on Earth. It pioneered the technique, now standard in large astronomical telescopes, of using an alt-azimuth mount, meaning it could move on two axes, both horizontally and vertically. Operated by the Special Astrophysical Observatory of the Russian Academy of Science, BTA-6 is still operational, with periodical upgrades and improvements that extend its life. Although activity by separatists in the region pales in comparison with Chechnya or Dagestan, militant groups do exist in Karachay Cherkessia. Periodic terrorist attacks have taken place in the Republic, mostly targeting Russian security and political buildings. But due to high diversity, ethnic tension is a considerable problem in the Republic. So far, the situation has been kept mostly under control. However, due to the fact that Karachay Cherkessia is one of the poorest regions in Russia, such tensions could anytime exacerbate any local issues. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comment downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.